Yeah. What is going on guys? Welcome back. I haven't posted in a long time, but I hope you guys are doing well. I'm starting the day off correctly today with a bit of skipping as you can tell. I um, always like to do something in the morning, some sort of exercise, as I said in like an older vlog. And yes, I look kind of sexy, yeah, I know. Bit of exercise gets my mind going. I don't feel awake, like fully awake if I don't do exercise in the morning. Um, I actually want to speak more, it's kind of windy out here, I don't know if you guys can hear me. But I actually do want to speak a bit more about fitness. So I'll leave a bit at the end where I'll sit down and talk about like my routine, things I do, because I have had a few questions on Instagram. Always keep yourself healthy, keeps you happy, all this shit. I'm not gonna go into it, but I will go into it later. But yeah, I don't wanna bore you guys at the start with that. I mean, lockdown number three in the UK. Sick one. Can't really do too much. So obviously, I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna change my room around. I need to move a few things. Like, it's just not right in my head. Like, it just doesn't doesn't quite work, but I'll show you guys that later. And then I'll show you guys a wardrobe tour because I haven't done one of them and a lot of you guys have been asking about, show me your clothes, show me your clothes. I'm gonna show you my clothes. That's what I'm gonna do. Mine's looking like an egg in that camera. I just filmed that whole intro and I just realized I had like a piece of, obviously that's coming off. Wow. I just filmed that whole intro and I didn't realize I had a bit of tissue on my head. Like what? Like, <laughs> yeah, otherwise it's freaking go. Mum, what do you think of this new hairstyle? I don't like it. Really? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, they're nice though. <laughs> Damn. Wimbledon. Sock check. Well, these new eating guys yes. do this and then we'll have a healthy dinner tonight. Please. Okay, well, I shotgun the chicken teriyaki. I knew you were going to say that. Well, that's a lot of sauce for him. But I'll have this if you if you want that. Does that even look like chicken? It will be. It looks like chicken. Uh, to be fair, it looks quite nice. Uh, what is... Uh, yeah, Should we eat? Kind of... Oh, no way, and then you put it in there. Too much talking, not enough walking. Well, <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm not putting that in the video. Did you just hear me? <laughs> yeah, Where's Addison like Ray? Mental Addison Ray, dude. <laughs> Right, it's time to sort the room out, guys, because it's just not looking great. Look at this, guys. So, I don't know if I've shown you my room. Uh, obviously, it's not very clean right now, but we're going to fix that. Um, you know, everything's a bit everywhere. Like, everything. It's just dirty. But anyway, we're going to do this, and then I'll give you guys a wardrobe tour and show you guys more about my clothes and what I wear and stuff and yarn. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, first we've got to do this because it's hella dirty right now, and I want to change my bed completely the other side and mirror things, so... Let's go. I'll take it to my clothing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so far, but basically you've got the mattress off. We've got this, which has no mattress on now, but it's the heaviest bed that, like, I can't even move it. So we're gonna have to take it apart to move it. But otherwise, look at the state of my room now. Like. But it's not a vibe. It's just not a vibe. So we're gonna have to basically unscrew these, take these bits off, and then move it around without those bits on, then put it back on. So it's gonna take us ages, but... What is it? Just these bolts here? Yeah, and you gotta just loosen them a bit, and then we can... Oh shit, well I need to take these out though, because I can't actually get the thing in. Oh yeah. Okay, so that, these are really easy to get in. Boom. Ooh. Oh my back! Oh my god, finally. Oh my lord. Oh my god, this is painful. We did it. We've just got to do the mattress now. Yeah. Are you and sure then... all the wires are fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% let the TVs up. Tony! Tony! Frudely do do do. Yeah. How are we doing? Mm. Oh, good. Good. I, picked up a few, I picked up a few injuries on the way. Oh, wait, I'm still doing it. Yo. I knew you did something weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is now the next day, um, yesterday. Mum, what did I get yesterday? A little casting call, didn't I, guys? Um, yeah, so that is why the video pretty much skipped to the next day because I got an email at like 2.30, I only saw it at 4, so I had to literally dash to that. I wanted to film the wardrobe tour, I wanted to film all this stuff. Obviously, I couldn't because I had to go quickly to London, and I live about an hour and a half from where the location was, and I had two hours to get there, so I had to rush. I know you want to see the wardrobe tour, We'll get onto that now, so I'll see you in the bedroom. Ooh, in the bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna do a little wardrobe tour. Sorry, Don't this is talk. so stable because of my really oh steady my hands. God, Sorry, stop talking. you're gonna love how stable it is. What is going on, people? Welcome to the main section of the video. I'm gonna be showing you my wardrobe, go through some clothes that I've got at the moment, and uh, I'll show you my room as well because we changed that around earlier in the video. So uh, let's go into my room. Here we have uh, the goat. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. Right, let's hope this goes. <laughs> Where should we start? 
it's so blurry. You need to go this way because the lighting. Okay, so um, obviously here we have my rail. I'll go through that at the end, but that's like the main. I think that's the main clothes that I wear. Artistic shot. Holly, you're not meant to be talking. Sorry. Well, this is like the main clothes that I wear. I'll go through this, through this at the end. Um, but we'll start over here at the cupboards. You're quite good at this, you know. I'm really good. Right, so we'll start with this one. This is uh, actually well, I don't even know what, what is in here. Oh, that was good. Okay, nice. So at the top we've got uh, pajamas. <laughs> Uh, hoodies, this is the stuff you don't really want to see. So yeah, that's that top shelf. I don't really use that except for these. I can't wear them, but yeah, it's pajamas. Uh, these are like my joggers and my like comfy shorts just to wear around the house and stuff. Um, and then we move on to this bit. Trousers. My less worn trousers are hung yeah, up here. Understood. So um, for example, uh, these, I bought these on Depop. These are like some custom bleached Levi's. Quite nice, but I don't really wear them that much, so they can go in this one. Um, otherwise, it's just sort of trousers that I'd wear, like the corduroys, I don't really wear these too much. Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're quite nice, quite for a smart occasion, I'd say. And then this section, obviously, I've got my cardigan that I don't really wear that much. A few shirts for casual shirts, and I've got my smarter shirts, and I've got my suits. So this section's a bit of the bleh, and my shoebox is down there. And then clothes that I'm selling down there. But yeah, that's that's just that cupboard. So that's that. Most of those clothes down there I'm selling on Depop. <laughs> Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go check them out and mm. buy some clothes for yourself and I'll ship them oh, straight to your door put or put it right there. Yeah, here. Nice one. Cupboards. Okay, this one. Okay. Ooh. Do you know what it is? This is a very clean. No. And it started quite clean, but it's not very clean. Uh, up here we've got bags. For example, I have a bright orange Stoana bag that I rarely wear. Um, I don't really wear many of these. Uh, a nice little reflective Carhartt one there. Uh, yeah, this is my small stuff. It's really not organised at the moment. Anyway, moving on to this section. This is like more of the main section. It took me quite a while to organise. Uh, it's kind of colour coordinated, but kind of not. So a few t-shirts, Siberia Hills long sleeve, for example. A few vintage tees that I found on eBay. I think these were like five pound each. Climax. Climax. Specialist tackle. Fishing Climax. sort of thing. A I plain t-shirt. Oh, actually, I want to talk about this. Weekday t-shirt right here. So these are plain t-shirts. They're really thick, good quality. Uh, I bought these from Weekday, and this is obviously a size small, as you can probably tell from the label, and I'm like a large normally. Um, these are the great t-shirts, so if you're looking for plain t-shirts, and size down by two sizes, and that will fit you, because otherwise they're really oversized and not a vibe. An Elite t-shirt, kind of comfy, kind of cosy. Uh, this one is actually from a brand, I think it's called like, called Double. Had quite a nice fit on Depop, so I bought this. It's really oversized, really boxy, um, and I quite like the colour of it. A Needles t-shirt, one of the like reworked ones, I think they call it. Quite nice as well. A jaded t-shirt, a vetements t-shirt that I paid ridiculous amounts of money for and I shouldn't have done it. We don't want to talk about the price. Basically, it feels like a Haynes t-shirt. Anyway, uh, another vintage t-shirt, another weekday white one, hostage, just a few other ones, and long sleeves, and my black and white stripes. So that's that. Um, and then over here, we've just got hoodies, like random things. I don't really organize this, but this is just more like little cable knit Polo Ralph Lauren. Bought this on Depop for like, I think it was like 20 quid. Mm, like no it. idea what the brand is. Ah. Got sent this by Kickers, shout out to Kickers, quite nice as well. And some signed football tops. But yeah, that's that. Now you're probably wondering what's in the Chanel box. Well, I'll show you. So I bought this box from a furniture shop. It was like 20, 30 quid. So I bought it because it's quite helpful and I needed some more storage. Now this is my box of accessories. Uh, I got my belt. I like that. Uh, Gloves, random gloves. Loads of bandanas. I've got a little balaclava, which is <laughs> kind of random. Ties, bow tie. Uh, I've got a pair of glasses in there somewhere, beanies. Okay, so this is the main area for clothes in my in my, uh, in my my room. So we'll start with the trousers. I bought these red uh, Ralph Lauren on Depop. A little corduroy for a summer kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. Can you give me those glasses? So I bought this hat. This was on Depop if you're wondering where I got this from as well. See these? These and a white t-shirt. Summer vibe. I made a TikTok on this uh, wearing these and they got, got quite a lot of these. I think got like a mil. Or like 1.2 mil, which is great. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, Ralph Lauren. I think that label is Ralph Lauren. And I think the guy who I bought them off customized them. Like, he added some pockets and stuff. I paid, I think, around like 70, 80 dollars for them, which is a really good price. Carhartt's like camo, Carhartt double knees, you know, Levi's gray. These ones are like boot cut, kind of cool. Patchwork jeans. Um, I got these for free from a small brand who just customized jeans, patchwork, and stuff. Really cool. Right, so I added the paint myself because I thought kind of. Plain, kind of boring, a bit of a weird brown as well, like not really my favorite color brown. But um, yeah, I thought- The I brown to... is in. Brown is in, but not, not this color. Yeah, I mean, most of my trousers, if you guys want loads of trousers that are really cool, and you're looking for a new pair that's not too expensive, I normally just go on Grail and search for like Japanese brand, all the Japanese brands will come up. I bought these for $50, $50 $40. 
and they've got like nice zips in the front. Right, and then finally we'll move down to here. All Saints camo jumper, don't really want to talk about that. So I've had a lot of questions about this Varsity jacket as well. This is a Guess Vintage Varsity jacket, really heavy leather sleeves as well. I think Dad got it in like the 1990s or something. He got it in Palm Springs, I think, in the early 90s. I don't know if you'd be able to find that again. That's the Varsity jacket. It's exclusive, it's exclusive. sorry guys. Sorry, you can't get that anywhere else. This is a Timberland jacket I bought on Depop recently. Really nice color. Been really into like cream recently as well. Uh, this is 20 pounds. Otherwise, a few hoodies. I cut, I actually cut this myself. Yeah, I cut the bottom. Because otherwise it was really long and weird. And it's kind of nice. Shout out to Crowd London, Tom Austin. Little pistol hoodie there. Levi's denim jacket. Very essential. Favorite one. This is, you like this one? My favorite one. This is a, I don't know what the actual name of it is. The Skeleton Knit from Capital. Really good quality. It's quite thin, but it's, Keeps you nice and warm. Pretty much double the price in America, but in the UK, I paid about, I think I paid 400 for this and a really nice skeleton on the back. So yeah, that's my, probably my favorite item that I have right now. So that's that. Otherwise, got a few hats over here. I was on Depop <clears throat> looking for a hat and thought, mm, five pounds, what can I, what can go wrong? Mm. It's really not good. It's got no like padding Boning, here. yeah. So it's just a bit shit. And a couple of Von Dutch hats. Shout out to Von Dutch for sending me these as well. And probably my favorite like shape of hat. I'm not really a fan of, what would you call this? A flat cap. This is more my vibe. These are less my vibe. So these fit me probably the best. These ones, I actually bought these are a customized pair of Converse. I rarely wear these. Donated to charity and I got a pair of shoes from it. So it's great. Military boots. I found these on eBay. I got quite a few questions where I got these from as well. But these are literally, I think I got these for like 40, 50 quid as well. These are the Sean Wotherspoon. Are they superstars? I think they are. I haven't really worn these at all. Probably gonna sell them. Moving down, I got a pair of Air Force One High. I think they're called Highs or something. They got some sort of like different name. I uh, added some cream laces and they got this little buckle that goes around, which is quite nice. I quite like these. White Air Force is very basic. Same with the Converse and the Blazers and the Vans. Retro black and white 2014 Jordan One Highs. These have gone up loads in price right now. Probably my, one of my favorite Jordans I've ever had. I wear them with most outfits, so really like these shoes. I don't know if I'll probably sell them. Overall, 10 out of 10 pair of shoes. These are the LV Trainer Green White. Very nice pair of shoes. I've had these for about a year. Relatively good condition. Obviously, I've had a lot of wear out of them because they're one of my favorite shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna be holding on these oh, onto these for a while. Obviously, quite expensive as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my wardrobe tour. If you guys have any more questions about where I buy things, where things are from that I showed in the video or anything, leave the comment in the comment section down below, and I'll reply to you and move on to the next part. But yeah, thank you. That was my wardrobe. Peace. What is going on people? Welcome to the bit of the video where I talk about the fitness side of things. I don't wanna to spend too long on this. I thought I'd jump on the microphone because it's gonna be a little bit better quality for you guys and it's more of a speaky bit. I wanna first of all talk about what I do in terms of working out. I've had quite a lot of questions about this. I recently got my first ever below 20 minute five kilometer run, which is crazy for me. I've never done something like that before. In terms of training, I've been doing like skipping or running every single morning, whether that be 20 minutes of skipping or 20 minutes of running. We, I just sort of vary it. If I get bored of one, then I'll switch to the other. Always keeps it like exciting in my mind. I really suggest if you really don't like running and you hate it and you can't stand it, try skipping. Because for me, skipping changed the game. I'd prefer to do skipping than not do skipping. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so, it's so good. And obviously it's not as intense as running. Depends on how you do it obviously. But I feel like running obviously burns more calories and is more intense than skipping, but um, I recommend trying it if you if you don't like running at all. Other than that, obviously I do some weights. I'm not actually allowed to train my legs until I'm 21, which is probably what I mean. Some of you might have noticed I've got quite small legs. I think I've got quite small legs. The reason why I've got some sort of muscle in there is because I used to play football quite a lot and uh, I've been trying to get back into that as well. I, uh, yeah, I can't train legs time 21 due to a back injury when I was growing and I was very close to slipping my disc. I think that's what you call it. So I'm not allowed to do deadlifts, leg extensions, um, leg press, squats like you name it, like pretty much every leg exercise except from Bulgarian squats or whatever they're called. In terms of dieting, I think dieting is really important. I didn't actually fix my diet at all until probably early December. And I thought I really wanna just crack down on the diet. Don't eat shit. Obviously I have shit now and again because it keeps, you know, it keeps me, keeps me sane. Okay, six, so the camera died just before I was about to finish this video. But anyway, the main thing for me is doing fitness is for the mental thing. Like it's never, it's never really been like a, I really want to look big and strong. Like obviously that comes with it. But for me, it's keeping my mind healthy and it's keeping me uh, motivated. Like if you ever feel like you just want to lie in bed and do nothing all day, obviously if you might actually need to have a rest and you might need a break, but at the same time, like if you want to be motivated and you want to be doing something, then I always just go for a run or do some sort of exercise and then you feel like doing that like it's just how it works we're humans but yeah guys that's pretty much all i wanted to say um thank you so much for watching today's video i know i haven't uploaded in a while but i'm going to keep these coming if you could like subscribe let's try and get to 60k subscribers we're on 50k i believe i don't even know where we're at right now build up to the big 100k let's go 10k at a time and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next video peace <laughs>